Okay, well, welcome to the Chief's vlog. I'm Rob Nixon. I'm the Deputy Chief Constable here at Leicestershire Police. Uh, and I'm covering for Simon Cole, who is away on a very well-earned uh, family holiday. Um, I thought I'd start off with just discussing uh, COVID. Certainly from an internal uh, force perspective, I'm pleased to say uh, that we are very much business as usual. We are seeing an increase in uh, calls and demand, uh, but that's to be expected. Much of that was very much around uh, the restrictions that were in the city and part of the county. Uh, and as many of you will have seen, uh, Opie and Wigston, as of Saturday, their restrictions have been lifted and they're now back in line with uh, the rest of the UK. Uh, and then the Leicester restrictions, uh, you will have seen that actually uh, pubs and restaurants uh, are now back open uh, for business. Uh, the key messages that I'd say around the city are we are still dealing with and responding to a pandemic, so we can't be complacent. Uh, we need to be uh, mindful of the fact that we need to continue to respect social distancing. Uh, but the restrictions uh, made simply are uh, that you can't have social gatherings at your house or in your garden. Uh, and if you are uh, gathering outside of uh, that sort of domestic setting, i.e. meeting in a park, it's restricted to no more than six people. So uh, please, if you want more information around that, please look at our website. But the key messages are the restrictions are starting to be lifted. Uh, the licensed premises are now open, uh, but there will be a lot of um, um, monitoring of how that goes because clearly we've got to continue to uh, push social distancing and make sure that we get on top of that pandemic. Uh, but balancing that out, we're trying to get uh, people back to, back to normality. Um, on other news, uh, a bit of a plug, we are still recruiting, so we've got our degree holder entry programme that is uh, open now, live. Uh, so please, if you've got a degree and you fancy a, a career in policing, uh, that opportunity is open to you. We're also uh, recruiting uh, apprenticeships uh, and we're also recruiting for PCSOs. So again, if you're interested in a career in policing, then do look at our website. That will give you more information uh, and please come and join what is a really, really good uh, dynamic uh, team here at Leicestershire. Um, I think um, we've had a few requests come through uh, over the last few days, just uh, querying how people can report hate crime. So again, if you're the victim of a hate crime, uh, firstly, it's totally unacceptable and we want to hear about it, but there's a number of ways that you can report it here to the force. You can do it online uh, via our sort of uh, online platform, or you can uh, call 101 uh, and pass that information. But what I'd urge is, please, if you're suffering hate crime, don't suffer in silence, do contact us. Uh, we will make sure that we reach out and give you the support that you need. Um, interestingly, uh, other issues I was going to share with you, you will have seen on social media over uh, the recent days, uh, again, quite a significant number of officers have been uh, injured or assaulted during the course of their, their work. Uh, I'm pleased to say the vast majority of those are low-level injuries, uh, but still, they're totally unacceptable. And my message would be, please support your local officers. They're here, they're working 24-7. They do a fantastic job to, to uh, protect and serve the communities of Leicester, Leicester and, uh, and Rutland. And they just re they deserve the respect uh, that, that, uh, that should come with being a police officer uh, of today. Now, clearly, where people have been assaulted or injured, we will continue to uh, monitor that, track that, and we will ensure that we look to bring those uh, offenders to justice. So we will not turn a blind eye to officers that are being injured in any way, shape or form. Um, and again, uh, just finally, a message for our internal audience. Um, I know that there's been a, a few questions that have been raised around COVID, uh, where we are with that. Uh, rather than continuing to just put out bulletins, we've got a Q&A session that is being organised uh, in, on the 11th of August. Uh, so uh, if you're interested and you've got some queries that you want to raise around the COVID and our response to that, uh, please tune in and uh, take part in that event that is taking place on the 11th of August and our internal intranet will be able to provide you with more information. Thank you.